Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand that how to solve these kind of indices problem and why 90% of the people got it wrong. Okay, so here we have x minus 9 the whole raised to 2 is equals to 81. So now the first thing what we should do is we'll take square roots on both the sides. When I do square roots, this square and the root cancels, right? And here this comes out to be 9. Now this is where a lot of people got stuck and they forgot that when you take a square root, the answer normally comes out to be positive and or negative of that value. Now why like that? See, there are sums in which when I take a square root, Okay, let's say if I had to take a square root of 100, I would directly say it is 10. So now why in this case I'm making it as plus minus 9? The reason being we have a variable. Whenever, whenever, let's say a is there is a variable which is equals to root of n. Okay, so if there is a variable involved, the root will always have a plus or minus value. Okay, in case it's directly given to find the root of a positive number. In that case, you just have to take the positive value. I hope this is clear to everyone. So now what we do is x minus 9 equals to, first we'll take plus 9. So here, what we'll have is x equals to 9 plus 9. So therefore, I can say x value is 18. Right, next. Here, we'll have x minus 9 equals to minus 9. So here we have x equals to minus 9 plus 9 which comes out to be 0. So for this question I can say value of x is equals to 9 sorry not 9 it is 18 or it is 0. Either of the two values are absolutely correct. Okay. Now if you put the value of x as 18. Okay, if I put the value of x as 18, this becomes 18 minus 9, which is 9, right? The square gets you 81. So, this is correct. If, the put, if I put the value of 0 as x, so here we get 0 minus x, the whole square, that gets you also a positive value of 81. So, here we can say that both these values are satisfying the given question. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.